the music of the Koto is one of the most valuable and distinctive contributions that Japan has made to the world music. When a Japanese atmosphere is desired, uh, in a motion picture, for example, it is often the sound of the koto that is chosen to create it, partly because of its intrinsic beauty and partly because it is so quintessentially Japanese. The most ancient Japanese music in which the koto is used is court music, which is at least 1,200 years old. But the instruments of this family were ancient by that time, as we know from Japanese archaeological evidence and from the history of China, where they had been in use since very ancient times. What we know as Japanese koto music today, however, is relatively new, dating from the 17th century. Ever since then, the repertory of the koto has grown uh, in response to the changes in the times through the addition of new styles and forms, a process which continues in our time. So the koto is not only a venerable instrument, but also a modern one. While its inherited repertory is kept alive by traditional practitioners, it is at the same time employed by modern Japanese composers in advanced compositions of the 20th century. Recently, new forms of the koto have been invented to enable it to take part in the development of modern music. This program will introduce you to uh, some old and new koto music, to the types of the koto now in use, and to a family of musicians dedicated to the koto, both to making it physically and to playing it brilliantly in its traditional as well as its modern musical roles. This is the Kurosawa family of Morioka, Japan. Kazuo Kurosawa, koto maker and performer on ancient and modern forms of the instrument uh, is the father, Chikako Kurosawa. Uh, his wife is a singer, performer on old and new forms of the koto, and also on the shamisen, the companion of the koto in much of its repertoire. Uh, Yumi Kurosawa, who at the age of 14, has won the Japanese national competition for junior high school koto players. Uh, also, y Yuki Kurosawa, an older daughter, uh, plays the koto, but specializes in the piano and composes for both instruments, as we shall hear later. And now, uh, Kazuo Kurosawa, who is the maker of this koto that we have before us, uh, will tell us a bit about how it's made and uh, how it is played. Uh, Kazuo, please. Uh, Go ahead. The body of the koto is made of polonia wood. Some of its parts are made of ivory or very hard wood, like the ridge at each end. Thirteen strings are stretched over the surface of the koto, and each string has its own movable bridge by which tuning and the scale are set. On the underside of the koto, there is an opening at each end. These are the sound holes. High quality instruments have a carved pattern called ayasugi on the inside surface, which can be seen through the holes. These are carved by hand. Also, on the end, at this place, a high-quality koto may be surfaced with ivory, and a picture may be applied in lacquer, as we see on this koto. Please show us how the koto is played. Three ivory plectra are placed on the thumb and two adjacent fingers of the right hand. The thumb is used thus, stroking away from the player.
the other fingers stroke toward the player in this way. And the left hand? The left hand often changes the pitch and tone color of a sounding string after it is plucked, thus. Or it may move a bridge for a new tuning. There are many other techniques also. We'll now hear the koto in a traditional piece entitled Rokudan. This music, with its very slow beginning and gradual acceleration of tempo, is the first of the six parts of Rokudan, a title that means six sections. It is the best known composition of early classical koto music dating from the 17th century. As the wonderfully formed melodic line gradually evolves, it is supported, decorated, and varied by many techniques of traditional koto playing including frequent sounding of the first two strings as a sort of tonal anchor, the playing of octaves together or in alternation, plucking or scraping the strings in different ways, and ornamentally changing the tone color and pitch of a sounding string by the use of the left hand. Rokudan was originally a solo piece, but frequently another instrumental part, or even two, will be added. In this performance, a second koto joins in as the next section begins, adding another level of elaboration. Although a few melodic motives are heard many times, the sections are not melodic repetitions. Rather, the melody evolves continuously throughout the work.
The tempo accelerates more extremely as the piece progresses, and here in the sixth section it has become quite fast, but the music then slows down and closes serenely as it began. This instrument is the shamisen, and it is frequently used in combination with the koto uh, in much of its music. And uh, Chikako Kurosawa is going to explain a, b a bit about its construction and how it is used. This is the sound box of the shamisen. It is covered with skin, originally animal skin, now usually of synthetic material. The shamisen has a long, unfretted hardwood neck. The tuning pegs at the upper end set the pitch of the strings. Here, on the skin of the wood box, we place the bridge made of bone, ivory, or other material and the three silk strings are stretched over it. The shamisen is played in this position. The, this ivory plectrum is used to pluck the strings, stroking from above and from below as well. A cloth protector allows the hand to slide freely. The fingers of the left hand stop the strings to get the desired pitches and may slide up or down. Also, they may pluck the strings in various manners for special effects. Uh, 